Hello telly hoes, welcome back to my channel. Wow, that was X Factor type of shit right there. Hi Tally Hoes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you're doing well. I'm a little bit hyper, why? Because, you know, I've been home on my own for the last few hours and I'm going crazy. I've been to the gym, I've had a very productive day, I've shot lots of content and I am so hungry. My brother's coming around in a minute, he's bringing his dog, we're gonna go for a beach walk. And then when we get back, we're gonna eat this food or actually probably gonna eat and then go for the walk, let's be honest. There's like building works going on or someone's having some work done in the block of flats that I live in, which is really annoying, but I can't really complain because I just did a renovation for like nine months. Was it nine months? It was a long time anyway. But yeah, I kind of thought that I would start a weekly vlog with you guys, spend some time with you and just be real and raw and mention that I'm not really feeling YouTube at the moment, as you can probably tell, because there's not that many videos that have gone up recently. I've just done a Fashion Nova video, which will go up. It's already up. But aside from that, I'm really not really around. Um, honestly, I've just been putting out so much TikTok and, and Instagram content that that's really been my focus at the moment and also just living life and just being in the in the moment i do actually find that youtube comes with a lot of pressure and it's just i'm not 100 percent enjoying it for now but i am here and i hope that you enjoy this weekly vlog who knows what we're going to get up to this week I've been a little host i've been hosting so many people we have prep we've started cooking the rice is boiling which is exciting and the pan is hot today we're going to be doing a little hello fresh meal which i'm so excited i've pretty much got my whole family on this by now because when you get a box you get a free voucher for your friends so i've been giving that to pretty much everyone if you haven't heard of hello fresh they basically deliver recipes to your door they've got a selection of different ones that you can go for i personally go for like the rapid meals because i'm always in a rush i'm not the most patient cook and i'm not even a very good cook but they've honestly been teaching me so much about cooking i've just really been enjoying it let's cook i'm so hungry so today i'm making the aromatic beef pilaf with tomatoes, peas, and mango chutney. Look at this. I'm so hungry right now. The only problem is, is I'm wearing makeup and obviously I need to cut onion. Wish me luck, quite honestly. Wish me luck. Oh my God, I'm gonna start crying. I can feel it already. Oh no. I did it. <laughs> So I cut myself. Great, it's going well. Mmm. It's nice to just have a home cooked meal. Yummy in my tummy. It was happening when, it was happening when I was cutting the coriander. I wish I could give you guys all a free voucher to try HelloFresh. But what I can do is give you 60% off your first order and then two months for 25% off. You get some free gifts and the code is 60tally. I'll leave the link in the description or you can literally just scan this barcode on the screen to get yours. Before my brother gets here, he doesn't like to be on camera. You'll actually be surprised at how many people don't like to be on camera. So I just have to basically vlog on my own, which... Oh. Which can be annoying, but you know. <gasps> wow! So I'm just opening up a little Elemis package. Look how cute this is. 
It's like the um, London telephone box, but in blue. They've sent me their superfood facial oil, which is amazing because you guys know that I get a really flaky nose and my skin's been so dry recently. So hopefully that'll be good. Then the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. And honestly, this is so popular. Their cleansing balm. We might have to use this together. Thank you so much, Elemis. That's so exciting. So over the weekend, why is that? Honestly, this is why most of the time I can't be asked to do YouTube. Because <laughs> things just start happening when I'm on camera, like this and that and everything else. But yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know, so over the weekend I went into town and I got this little earring from Astrid and Maya, which is really cute. They do piercings and stuff. I had the original ear piercing, the earring in this ear. And so he really struggled to get it in for me, but he managed to do it and I'm so happy now. Like, because the other one just kept catching on everything and then like getting infected and stuff. So yeah, 39 pound, very expensive, but really cute. But all of my other jewelry I got from TK Maxx for literally like 12, 13 pounds each. So, but they don't have Helix stuff. So I just wanted to get something that actually fit and thank God that he even put it in for me because I think I would have struggled if I didn't do that. And what else did I do? Well, I went shopping. What did I buy? I think I just bought eyelashes and stuff. And then we went out, which was cute. Got some shisha and... Oh, he's here. Hi, Tally Hose. It's been two days. Uh, my finger was throbbing for like two days. It doesn't even look like anything, but it hurts so much. I'm kind of actually a bit worried about this gym workout I'm about to do because it gets caught on everything, like literally everything. Oh. But yeah, we're in the car. We've just got to the gym and I'm so excited for this workout. Tally hose, I've got a good little playlist going on. When it's like actually a good playlist that I can share with you, maybe I will, but I feel like music's so like personal i don't know but yeah let me know if you want me to share that with you guys honestly i'm so excited to be here my mum stayed around last night it was the cutest thing ever we made like salad we went to bed in like matching bob marley teas this morning she made another salad for us we had coffee together it was so cute she's still there now <laughs> i literally left her at my flat and she was like go to the gym am i in focus because i swear this camera plays games on me so I've not actually filmed or anything in this gym. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, who's the girl with the tripods? But luckily this gym, there's so many people with tripods. So we should be absolutely fine. Anyway, let's do this.
fridge open. Why did I leave the fridge open? What did I take from the fridge? I don't know. <laughs> Why is it open and beeping at us? Papi, I didn't take anything from the fridge. You did. What did I do? You made milk, you made coffee. That means this has been open for hours. <gasps> Alzheimer. It's okay now. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so we're home and we picked up Poppy on the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we basically went to, so I came home. I went, I went to the, let me start again. I went to the gym and then I went to pick mum up and then we went to try and find like a oriental market and then basically got a few bits and bobs look at this shrimp crisps Ooh. i had to i had to give it a go so i actually reckon this with like chive would be quite nice what oh they stink do you want to smell these That was a waste of five pounds. Really? What's it taste like? Here you go. No, 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 I can't. Five pounds? Let me five smell pound. it. Five pounds. Let me smell it. Oh, that's... <laughs> Does it taste like shrimp? It doesn't taste like shrimp, no. It smells like shrimp. It definitely smells like shrimp. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Does it taste like... I don't think shrimp that shrimp tastes like... Yeah. It tastes like pasta, but with flavour. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncooked. Right, let me... Maybe if you put it in a soup and it, it became more... Soft. Soggy. Yeah, look. Yeah, you're not meant to eat it like crisps. <laughs> Take a small quantity of crackers to hot, fresh vegetable. Give them another try. We'll give them another try when we make soup. And then I got bubble milk tea, which I'm going to pop in the fridge and then put in a glass later. Bobby, do you want some leftover cur beef curry? I have lunch. And then I got some ramen, some more ramen, and some more ramen. And that's it, really. What is ramen? Ramen is, that's ramen, isn't it? Ramen. Ramen. Is Mum got this one. I don't know. Yeah. Ramen. Ramen. Testing. Don't know. Mm. And then I got a sushi making kit, which I cannot be bothered to do right now. Um, but I'm full. Poppy, are you going to have dinner here? Um, I don't know. Because I'm thinking creamy lemon chicken linguine. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Okay. So you didn't bother to cook for our mother yesterday. <laughs> mm. So it's been a little while, Poppy and my mum have gone. So I'm basically just tidying up, like this is the life of a homeowner. <laughs> I literally just clean 24 seven, but I do find it quite therapeutic to be fair. So I don't actually mind it. It's like loading and unloading the disher about 50 times. I'm obviously being dramatic, literally like once a day or twice. But I haven't even told you guys that I've got a, a washing machine now. It's really exciting, my... I don't know if you can hear, but I've got music on. In my bedroom. Honestly, it's a vibe. So I want to try this um, bubble tea, but let me just finish packing things away, you know? <gasps> oh my God. Should we have some wine? Do you know what? It's my house. And I live in it, and I can do what I want. No one's here to tell me otherwise. So I'm gonna have some red wine. Honestly, but I just said I was gonna have bubble tea. What is wrong with me? Why does my brain do this? So I am actually going out in a little while because I'm going to meet some friends. So really, this is actually more appropriate. Maybe we can have the bubble tea together tomorrow. Let's do it. Cheers. L'chaim. Does anyone else make sure that their kettle is always... This is boring content, Tally. Ugh. But does anyone else make sure their kettle's always full up? So that when they go to turn it on, they're not like, oh, I've just boiled a completely empty kettle. 
Is it just me? I'm now a kitchen roll type of gal. This is my favorite cleaning detergent in the whole world. I'm actually gonna do an Amazon shop tonight. Maybe we can do that together. Oh, but is it gonna be tonight? Should I do it before I go out? I always say things and then don't do them. <gasps> Did that just happen now? Do you know what? Tally hoes, I just feel like, let me just stand you over here considering I'm cleaning the sink area now. I don't think you've seen my kitchen from this point of view, this POV. But if people were just more real on YouTube, if there wasn't so much pressure, if there wasn't so much trolling, yeah, then I feel like I could just be my honest self more with you guys. And sometimes I feel like I'm so open and honest with you. And sometimes maybe it's just me getting like in my head about stuff. Maybe I get in my head and I'm like, oh, I can't share that. Surely that's TMI. But actually I can because you're probably going to relate to that more than other stuff. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I got the kitchen roll wet. Got the kitchen roll wet. When it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Man, and on and on and on and on. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? You ain't gonna tie me down. You ain't gonna tie me, baby. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby, some people want it all. This is a, this is a message. And if it resonates with you, it was meant to be. But if you've got a good one, keep the good one and treat the good one right so they don't go. Everyone wants to be loved, everyone deserves love, but not everyone is worthy. Ha! Do you think everyone finds love? Or do you think some people are not meant to be, like some people can't accept real love in? Oh, that's deep. Do you know what I feel is gonna happen soon, Tally Hoes? I feel like I'm gonna go into like a reading phase again. You know when I'm just obsessed with reading? I've got this book that my best friend gave me and it was called like How To Not Give A Shit or something. <laughs> I'm gonna read it. Cause girl, I need that wisdom in my life. So we're gonna do the bubble tea tomorrow, tally hoes, okay? But as for now, I am going to love you and leave you. You're special, you're beautiful. I love you so, so much. I will see you tomorrow morning. Sleep well, even though you're not sleeping. <laughs> okay, love you guys. See you tomorrow. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you. But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Live, live If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight you wanted was a game to play And you couldn't handle that I had my ways I found your mind tricks and your side tricks I'm a winner, babe But you didn't win this, it's a part of the game In the beginning I just didn't know That you're an enemy I held too close Now I know Cause you did everything to prove me wrong You were not the guy I thought
Now I'm beating you at your own. Yeah. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive. Alive. But you didn't know me. All you wanted was a game to play. You guys saw that I've already used like some glaze products and that wow product which basically kills all the frizz. Then I just let it air dry because I don't like putting too much heat but the wow is, I've spoken about it before but I'm obsessed. So it like gets all the frizz out of your hair and it needs to be heat activated. So we're just in my office. We've not been in my office yet. There's, it's basically a storage room for now, but it has got like my Mac in here. So I just had a call from my friends and they all want to go up to Manchester. They're going to the Chris Brown concert, but I haven't got tickets. Um, so I guess I would just like, I don't know, chill, whatever, go on a date maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Honestly, my hair smells incredible. I might as well tell you what these are. These are the Cloud9. I think it's like a wide iron pro. I think that's what it's called. I actually love them so much. I go towards these most of the time. These are my GHDs. So yeah, I just don't know if I can afford really to go all the way up to Manchester and like the accommodation and stuff. And I've got like other bits and bobs to still even do in the flat as well. Like I've only just pretty much ordered the last bits for my bedroom. So my bedroom's the first room in the house, which is completely furnished. And then after that, I need to sort of, I think I'm gonna do this room last, this office room, because where you see all of this stuff, that's actually a cupboard space. So there will actually be a cupboard in here, but that obviously needs to get built and that. So I'm not touching that yet, but I'm just gonna get like a clothing rail for in here so I can film my YouTube videos in here. And then this room's kind of done for now. And then obviously the lounge, I ordered my sofa and I cannot wait for that to come. I give it a good few weeks. Hopefully it comes a lot sooner than expected. And there's bits in the kitchen that I'm actually gonna have to completely redo because the builders, honestly, they were the worst builders in the history of builders. They basically did such a dodgy job and then they got paid and then they blocked me. Can you see how straight and shiny it is? I love it. Oh, I just love how soft it is. Also, I think I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow. Just treat myself. Maybe have a little pedicure as well. Spending the dollar. This is the thought process, because my friends were basically like, have a think about it. You've got like two days to think about it. 
and then just like let us know basically. But if I don't go, that means I could do something cute in Brighton, like something small and cheaper. I could get my nails done, I could get some lashes done, I could do so many things. Do I go for the experience? Like the whole thing, such an experience, like driving up there, stopping off at petrol stations, getting snacks, like, and Lord knows I do need some fun. I need a holiday, a vacation. If anyone wants to go on vacation with me, let me know. Right, I need something to give me a middle part in and I can't be asked to get up, so. What have we got here? I have to use this. Let's have sex. But not without the foreplay. Look at the shine. Look at the glass. Do you see any frizz? No. There we go, tally hose. Here we have my sleek, straight hair routine. So now I'm working with Too Faced, which is very, very, very exciting. Okay. It's time for some lunch. Can I get a mm hmm? You're lopsided. Okay, so something I've really been enjoying recently, I don't know all of the ingredients, but you can get like these, basically it's like stuffed peppers. It's not stuffed actually. It's basically pepper, oh, it's in this. Whole peppers with garlic, been loving that, with some pickled onions. Little pickled onion, mate with with a baby bell and a pepperami stick it's kind of like maybe i would say potentially a german style lunch when like you have lots of different things on your plate like and then you can just dip it into each other and stuff you know what i mean know what I mean you light the skies someone asked me the other day on my stories like if I eat paleo and I actually think majority of the time I do paleo is when you don't really eat carbs but I don't do it on purpose I'm just obsessed with protein like I love meat and stuff right so I've sprinkled some salt and this is basically what it looks like. So we've got some like onion, baby bell, pepperami, tomatoes with salt. Cheese and pepperami, are you all right? Anyway, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm going out tonight. Yeah, although it is raining, so it's not quite a vibe. Good evening. <laughs> Get dressed with me for a night out, we're going out, we're going into town, we're gonna do a little boogie, you know. Not gonna lie to you though, I think I've been experiencing dumping today, post-surgery life. So I'm feeling something casual, but also sexy, do you know what I mean? Okay, we have the outfit. We've just gone for I think this is, this is all fashion over as usual, but I love these jeans. I think they're so funky, they're cute. And then we've got like this corset top from Fashion Nova. It's like a corset effect, so it makes your waist look small. It's got a cutout. I wanted something that's gonna keep me warm as well. These jeans are gapy a little bit at the back these days, but it's okay. I'm comfortable, do you know what I mean? Anyway guys, I will see you tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? I'm probably gonna be hung over a little bit. Okay, well, I don't know when I'm gonna see you, but I don't really wanna end the vlog yet. So, I'll see you when I see you. I love you. Good night. Good morning. It's not the morning at all, it's not the morning. It's 
20 to 4 in the afternoon. Where's my kitchen roll? And we've been having a chilled day today, I'm not gonna lie. We've just been recovering, watching Judge Judy, and just been chilling really. I've decided I'm hungry. All I've had today is some cocoa pops with some protein shake. Oh. So basically, I wanted to have cocoa pops, but I wanted to make sure that like it still had protein in that meal. So I basically made a milk protein shake in here and then put that milk into my cereal. It was so good. I couldn't finish it, but that's okay. It was delicious. I'm gonna make that bubble tea right now. I'm so happy. Guys, it's been in my fridge for like three days. I'm so excited. I think I should have it in this kind of glass. It's like cute tumbler. And I also, oh, it fizzed. Why did it fizz? Where are the bubbles though? Oh, okay, they're coming. Oh my God, this looks so good. Ocean Bomb Brown Sugar Bubble Tea Drink. And then I'm gonna use a clear straw, but I don't think it will take up the bubbles. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm such a foodie. This has inspired me. Maybe I could make my own bubble teas. Mm. I got a bit of the bubble tea. Anyway, I'm gonna cook now. I'm so happy. Creamy lemon chicken linguine with sugar snap peas. I'm so hungry. <sighs> Let's do this. What I'm gonna do, Tally Hose, is go get my speaker and then play music and cook. Oh, what a vibe. I literally look about 50 years old right now. I think one time someone commented on one of my YouTube videos saying that I looked really old. I was like, but jokes on you because I still get ID'd. So, 28 and fucking amazing. Look at this. Oh. I'm so ready for this. It smells incredible as well. Happy lunchtime. Wait, let me show you actually before I eat this. Yum in my tum. So good. This is hands down my favorite meal so far. I'm gonna enjoy this and then I think I'm gonna go to the gym and then hopefully Tonight, there's an Afrobeats music thing. So hopefully, my friends will wanna go. Gym time. Let's do this. I think these legs are actually a bit see-through. <laughs> Whoa. Tally hose. We're back from the gym. Honestly, I've been thinking about having the leftover lunch since I got in the car. The only issue is, is that my microwave's not working. So I'm gonna have to fry it. But just so I get the portion right, I'm gonna put it in this plate, a bowl. I'm tired. In an ideal world, I would just have a protein shake because what you saw me eat earlier, what I'm gonna eat now, and like the smallest bowl of Cocoa Pops is all I've eaten today, which is not like lots of protein. Okay, tally hose. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna probably catch up on Love Island. Who's actually feeling it this year? I'm not really feeling it. I just find it like really staged and just forced and really just not the vibe. I'm still indecisive about going up to Manchester. I mean, I just should do it, it will be so much fun. But it's just, it's like a four and a half hour drive. I really need to get my car serviced as well, but like financially, I can't afford that right now. So the long journey might just be a bit not possible, you know? But obviously if I do go, you'll see it on my stories and stuff. Hopefully this video goes up like just in a couple days. So you're kind of up to date with me really. And yeah, my bedroom reveal video will be up 
probably within a couple of weeks because my bedroom's nearly finished. The first room in the house is nearly finished. I'm so gassed. So yeah, my hair still smells incredible. But yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and supporting me and loving me. I honestly hope that you enjoyed this video. I haven't done a little weekly vlog in a long time, so I hope that you enjoyed it. Sorry I've not been that consistent. Yeah, I'll see you very soon. I love you. Sleep well if you're watching this in the evening. And bye!